Hey PPLD makers, my name is Jennifer and today I'm going to be walking you through a printmaking project. So printmaking is a style of art where we take an image that is on a plate um, and transfer it to a piece of paper using ink or paint. You may have heard of woodblock printing or screen printing or even rubber stamping as a kind of printing. And the idea is usually that you can use one plate over and over again to create a variety of images. While today we're going to be working with paper, you can also print onto lots of things like t-shirts, um, walls for interior decorating, um, and all sorts of different mediums. And the types of prints that we're going to be making today are called relief prints, um, and they're called that because we're making our image from erased surface where we kind of cut away the parts that we don't want um, and make our print that way. So I hope you're excited to get started with printmaking and here are a few supplies that you'll need for this project. The materials you'll need for this project um, are a piece of cardboard. It can be corrugated like this one or it can be from a cereal box or a shipping box. Um, you'll need a piece of craft foam. You'll also need scissors and a ballpoint pen to help create your design as well as glue to attach the foam to the cardboard. To pull your print, you're going to need um, a paintbrush, foam, or another kind of paintbrush, um, some acrylic paint, and paper to print on. So the first thing that you want to do is decide on a design and lightly sketch it out on your foam. So I think you can see here that I have decided to do some mushrooms and I've kind of outlined what that shape is going to be. And then I'm just going to cut around kind of on the outside of my design. And so now you can see I've cut out kind of the main shape of my mushroom. And there's not too much detail in here yet because that's going to be what we add in the next step. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take your ballpoint pen and if there's any, any details that you wanna add, any texture or any smaller kind of lines, this is where you're going to add that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace around my mushrooms. I'm gonna add some maybe dots and some other lines for texture. And I'm just going to do that by going over this with the ballpoint pen a couple of times. So you can see here that I'm pushing into the foam, not enough to tear it, but enough to make a pretty strong indentation. I'm going to go over this and make the rest of the details of my design. So the next thing I'm going to do is just take our glue stick and make sure to glue this foam piece onto our cardboard base. And once you have your foam design glued onto your cardboard backing, you've created a printing plate. So this is a plate that you should be able to use multiple times to create multiple prints. And we'll walk over that step now. So our next step is to go ahead and do what they call inking the plate. And we're not using ink, um, but the technique still applies. And basically what we're gonna do is just we're gonna take our paint and our foam brush, and we're gonna apply a thin layer of paint to the foam pieces of the board. And if you have a paint palette, you are welcome to use that, but I kind of like these foam brushes because you can um, put your paint sort of directly on. And you can see I'm just going to brush over my design. I need a little more paint. Um, the amount of paint you use will change how your print comes out. Um, if you use a lot of paint, um, you might not get as much detail. Um, but if you use less paint, it might be a little spottier in some places. And it is okay if you get a little bit on the cardboard piece, um, but you just want to make sure that you don't get too much around there. So we make sure we get into all of our designs here, putting paint into all of those kind of nooks and crannies. All right, and now before this dries too much, I'm going to go ahead and lay my paper on top of the area that I just painted. And what you're going to want to do is really apply some kind of firm, even pressure and you're going to want to rub into the paper. So I'm rubbing into the paper and you can kind of see the design coming through already in the paint. And I'll show that a little bit so you can see. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of carefully and gently pull your paper off. And voila, you've pulled your first print. So you can try to pull another print off of just the paint that we've already put on there and pulled a print off of. Um, and I'm gonna flip this over because I messed that up a little bit. But you'll see quickly that it's not going to come out quite as vibrant as your first one with your fresh coat of paint. So I'm just gonna rub this in 
and we'll go ahead and pull our print. And you'll see that you can still see most of it. It's just not quite as vibrant as our first print. So the amount of paint that you use matters um, and will change the quality of your print. And the awesome thing about creating this plate, this printing plate that we have, is that we can use it multiple times. I might recommend that if you're going to quit using it for, for a session that you maybe take a wet paper towel and kind of get any of the excess paint that's off so that you don't get too much paint in the nooks and crannies and it doesn't um, kind of compromise the quality of your print. Um, but yeah, just clean, clean it off between uses um, and you should be able to get quite a few cute little prints out of your one plate that you've made. So I hope you've had an excellent time making your very own prints. If you share them on social media, please tag us and use the hashtag PPLD Take and Make. Um, this is also a project that's part of Arts Month, which happens in October here in Colorado Springs. Um, so if you share your creations on social media, please also just tag them with Arts October. There's also a ton of other exciting stuff going on for Arts Month, um, and you can find all of that at artsoctober.com. There are also some more library resources about printmaking listed in the description below, so if you'd like to learn more, please check those out. Thank you so much for watching this video, and happy making!